Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions Berkshire. And in this video, we're gonna be using some VLANs with this Aruba Instant On equipment. Um, I've created a little scenario which might be uh, the kind of situation where you would use this Aruba Instant On equipment. Um, and we're gonna basically go through that scenario and apply the VLANs in those various situations. So we've got, um, yeah, like VLANs on the Wi-Fi, VLANs on the ports, and then we're gonna do a couple of other things with the, with the Wi-Fi. I like bandwidth restrictions and like timings etc so it's a kind of a sort of maybe a typical small business uh, model in fact in this case we're using a school um, but I'm just going to run through that so before we get started let's just show you what I've got here um, I've got an Aruba instant on 18 uh, sorry 1930 series POE switch um, it's eight port but with uh, eight port POE with two SFP ports as well um, it's uh, 124 watts, so it's got quite a bit of power, and it's fanless, runs completely silently. It can be rack mounted, it's got these little bolts, uh, rack mounts here. Um, it can also, it comes with some rubber feet, which I've lost, um, and you can also fix it to the wall with these two little screw holes here. So it's quite flexible with the switch, I really like it actually. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the uh, Ubiquiti US8150. It's pretty similar, um, although you are allowed to rack mount this. Right. Then over here I've got three Aruba Instant On access points. These are all AP11s. So they're a slightly older model actually. Um, the AP22 is the Wi-Fi 6 one, but these are AP11s. However, the configuration between the AP11 and the AP22 is exactly the same. It doesn't really matter which access point you use with Aruba Instant On. So the same principles will apply. Um, and we've got three of those. Um, there is no Aruba Instant on gateway, so uh, basically we're going. We're using a, a MADA gateway. So this little black cable here, that is my feed or my uh, uplink to my gateway. So that's what that is here. And I've connected all these access points directly into uh, just three of the POE uh, ports here, and they are being powered by the switch. So what I'll do first of all is I'll just show you on my laptop. Uh, what the Amada uh, router setup is, and I can see what apply um, and what the scenario is. So let's get that going now. Okay, guys. So here's a very simple um, diagram to kind of show what my scenario is. We've got a school hall, um, and the school have asked us to provide some Wi-Fi for the school hall. Um, it's quite a big hall, and we're going to use three access points across the hall, um, running through the, across the centre like that. We've got the uh, switch, the, the eight port switch, is going to sit down here in the comms cupboard. Um, we've also got a teacher's PC up here, which we're going to have hardwired into the switch. So that's the kind of um, layout of the hall. During the school hours, this hall is just going to be used by um, the teachers and students, and the school would like a Wi-Fi network for, for both the teachers and for the students. They want to keep it separate. They're going to put some restrictions on that uh, student Wi-Fi. So the more complicated part comes in the evenings at around four o'clock. The school hires this hall out to two after uh, to two school clubs. Oh, sorry, not school clubs. To two clubs. So one is this one here. So the dance club. They hire half the hall out, and then the other one is the karate club, which is on this side. Uh, and basically, both of these, the dance club and the karate club, need Wi-Fi as well because they upload all their lessons uh, or they stream all their lessons live to students that aren't there. So, uh, so they do need uh, Wi-Fi. However, the school is still operating at this time. They've got some of their own after-school clubs running, and they don't want these guys to have too much bandwidth. Also, they don't want to see the karate club's Wi-Fi and the dance club's Wi-Fi during the day. They just want it to be available when these two clubs are active. So that's our sort of task and our scenario. Um, oh, the other thing is we've got this teacher's PC over here and they just want that teacher's PC to be on its own teacher's VLAN. So the same as the teacher's Wi-Fi basically. So that's our scenario, um, pretty simple. But I'm just gonna quickly show you now on the uh, router what the setup is on our VLANs. So if I just put these in order. So this is on the Amada, uh, on the Amada gateway. We've got uh, the LAN which is basically just being used for management. We're not going to use that um, for any of the VLANs. And then we've got the teaching staff. So teaching staff, the first one, they are on a VLAN 10 and they've got a subnet 10. So it's a dot, uh, dot 10 uh, subnet. 
And then the students are on the next one, so Doc 20 on a VLAN of 20, karate class 30 and 30, and dance class 40 and 40. So that's the VLAN set up, nothing too complicated. Um, they've all got 254 uh, IP addresses each. So that's where that's what's coming into our into our um, Aruba instant on switch. Okay, so now I've shown you the scenario and I've shown you what the Amada router's got set up. The next part is going to be setting up those VLANs and onto the Aruba Instant on and all those Wi-Fi networks that we just discussed. So it, the way to set up Aruba Instant on for this kind of scenario is going to be on the app. So I've got an iPad here, which I'm going to use to set up all of this stuff. Um, and I'll show you the screen now. So let's get started on that. Okay, so this is us in the Aruba Instant on app. Um, this is what you present when you come in. Obviously you can see that it's, I've already named it School Hall. And then we've got a four kind of tabs here all, with all our options. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the bottom right, online devices. I'm gonna show you that we've got all those access points and the switch connected. So we've, I've named them all already. We've got School Hall East, School Hall West, School Hall Center, and then we've got the POE switch in the comms room. And then you can see the topology, obviously it reflects exactly what I've just shown you on the desk there. So let's go back and then we're back to the four tabs. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna to go to active network. So we we'll click on that. You can see there's only one active network at the moment. With Wi-Fi, I've actually disabled that at the moment. So that's not on, it's just the default LAN that we've got. So the first thing we need to do is all those uh, VLANs networks that I showed you on the Amada, we now basically need to create these on um, the uh, Aruba Instant app. So we do that by pressing the little plus button down, button down here at the bottom. So we just press that. And we're going to do wired networks first. So let's go through them. So we've got teachers. And then all we need to do is assign the relevant VLAN to it. We're not going to do anything else on this VLAN. We're just going to press done. Um, the reason why we're not going into any further detail, because there are a couple more options at the bottom, um, is because most of the sort of heavy lifting would be done by the um, would be done by the router or the gateway, not by not by the uh, Ruby instant on. So we're just going to keep going through creating these VLANs. Press the plus button, wired network, and we're going to do karate this time. Associate the correct VLAN and press done. And you'll see that they'll start to populate. And then we're going to say dance. And that's 40. Right. So now you'll see that we've got all, all of those VLANs have all been created. So 10, 20, and 30, and 40. So we've created all the, uh, the wired side of it. So if you came back out of this, you can see now we've got five on the active networks on the wired side, and we've got zero on the Wi-Fi. So the next stage is going to be to create that uh, the Wi-Fi networks. So press plus, and then instead of wired, we're going to flick across to wireless. Um, you can have this as employee or a guest, depending on what you want. So we're going to keep the teachers as a uh, employee. So we'll say teachers, and then we're going to put it uh, onto WPA2, WPA3 personal. So that just means it mixes security types. We're going to network password at the moment. I'm just going to literally call it the same as the SSID. Right now, uh, there are you do have to press more options on the wireless uh, side and that's because we want to associate it with uh, the VLAN. So this top one here, this IP and network assignment is what we're going to click. So we click on that. And then we don't want it to be assigned to the LAN. We're going to assign it to the teacher's VLAN. So we click that, press OK, and then press back and press done. There are more options. We're going to go to some of those in a moment. So we're going to press done. And then we're just going to go through again and just create all of these relevant um, networks. So if we call it students um, and we're going to put that security in again and students. More options, IP and network assignment, put it on student and then press back, done. That's two done and we just got to do the karate, so wireless Karate all with a capital. WPA23, network password, karate. Oh, I'll do karate kick in that one. And then uh, more options, assign it to uh, the karate. Press OK, done. 
Last one, we've got the dance, so we're going to go dance, VLAN uh, 40, I think I've got those the right way around, more options, oh, that's not what I wanted, Apology. what's going on here, oh sorry, that was supposed to be a wireless one, dance, and then WP3, Du, 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 du. What's going on here? Password. Sorry, I'm typing on the wrong thing. So we'll call this dance. I'll just put dance, dance, because I have to put something twice. More options. IP assignment, and we'll assign that to dance. So there we go. Right, so that's all my uh, VLANs and Wi Fi networks uh, now created. So on the access points, all of those networks will be shown. So if, I think if we just check the Wi-Fi here. Oh, oh no. And we are on it. So if I show you there, all of those all of these ones here, so we've got dance, karate, students and teachers, they're all now active. Um, and if I connect to any of them, I will get the IP address. I'm not gonna show you that yet, because we've still got a bit going on. Um, but all of those, those Wi-Fi networks are now active. So, the thing is, that's not just what they wanted. So they also wanted um, to, to do some clever stuff with these. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go to uh, the devices again. So if we go back, Click on our devices, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, the Peary switch in the comms room, and I'm going to click on that. I'm going to scroll down, and now what I want to do is I want to make sure that I've got, I've got an uplink that's tagged all of those VLANs that I've just associated. So my uplink port, if you remember, is port one with a black cable in it. So I'm going to click on that and go port details. And what I want is I want the LAN to be the default, which it is. But what I want is all those networks that I've just created to be coming through that port because that port is my uplink port. So I'm going to say tagged to all of these uh, all of these ports here. Uh, sorry, all of these VLANs that I've just created. So we do that next, and then we're going to press done. Now what that will mean is that all of those Wi-Fi work networks will now actually work because if you tried to get to connect them previously, the router, uh, sorry, the switch wouldn't have known what this, or sorry, the access point wouldn't have been able to pull those VLAN tags through. So, so you have to make sure it's up, it's active on that on that port. Now what you don't have to do, in fact, let's just check these. These should be passing these through anyway, but let's just check these ports. So if we go to port details, oh sorry. Yeah, so we don't we can't change these actually. Sorry, that's my mistake. Yeah, we don't need to do that on the access points because Aruba has recognised that those are access points plugged into the switch. So we don't need to change these ports. It does it automatically. So all those VLANs will pass through straight away to these access point ports, these three access point ports here. What they won't do is on the uplink. So you just need to make sure you do that. Now I don't even remember from the scenario, but there was also going to be a teacher's laptop or teacher's computer that needed a hardwired connection. So we're gonna use port five there, and we're gonna make this the teacher's uplink. So what we need to do is we need to uh, go down on this, uh, when we, sorry, let's go back. So we select the port, go port details, and then we're gonna go down to the bottom here, where it says included networks. Now at the moment it's got LAN as default and everything is tagged, but that's actually not what we want. We want to take off teachers, student, and we want to take all these tags off. And then we're going to go to, instead of having LAN as the default untagged network, we're going to have teachers. And then we're going to press OK. So basically what that means is that when a computer plugs into uh, that port, it will automatically join the teachers uh, network. And that's because the untagged basically means that it's applying a tag to that device. Um, so it will automatically join the uh, join that network. Now I'm just going to demonstrate that on the. Uh, we'll just sorry. We'll just press done, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press. I'm going to plug a laptop into that port, and I'm just going to show you on the command that that is now getting the IP address range in that um, in that uh, 
sorry, as part of that VLAN. So let's do that now. Okay, so I just shared a screenshot from the laptop showing you that it's got a .10 subnet, so that VLAN is working on that port, so uh, the teachers are gonna be able to connect to their computer, so that's the main thing. Right, so we've done the wired networks, we've created all the wireless networks, but what we haven't done is we haven't created the kind of uh, situation they wanted where they were restricted on bandwidth, but also that they only came on at certain times. So let's go into uh, the app and start looking at it again. Okay, so we're back into the app, and what we need to do is we need to go to Active Networks, um, and then we're going to select the uh, networks that we want to put some schedules and restrictions on. So let's select the Dance one first, and we'll go straight onto the Dance Wi Fi. Um, and we've already done all this part, as you know, so we'll go down to the bottom and we'll press More Options, and we're going to go from uh, not Network and IP Assignment this time, we're going to go to Network Access Schedule. So we select that, tick it. And then we've got Monday to Friday um, when it's going to be active. But we don't want it to be active all day. We're going to be, make a timing on this. So we're going to make it active between uh, 17, well, let's give them 15 minutes extra. So let's say, oh, let's say quarter to four. And then that's going to run till quarter past five. So we're giving them. I'm not supposed to be cool, that's fine, let's do that quickly. Don't know why I'm caring, because it's not a real scenario, but, um, and there you go, so so every day, basically between Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and to Friday, it's gonna be running from 3.45 to 5.15. Okay, so now we can press back on that one. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna limit their bandwidth usage. So by default, they haven't got any uh, bandwidth usage on this. But so we're gonna give them some bandwidth usage. And we know that these guys are recording in HD, so we're gonna drop this down to 10 megs. Because this is a per client restriction, we're just gonna drop it to 10 megs. And then we're gonna say back, and then we're gonna say done. And that's gonna save all of those changes. So we've done the dance one. The next one to do is the karate. We're gonna select that. And it's exactly the same thing. We're gonna go down, go to more options, network access schedule. We'll make it exactly the same, active between 15 and 45. Let's go to this. Okay. And oh, it already takes you, it's good the way it already takes you up there, right? 17, 15. Um, and then we're gonna go back and then we're going to go to bandwidth usage and we know that these guys are recording in 4k so we're going to give them 25 megs per client so we're going to go back on that one and that is that we're now going to go done on here and the only other thing i'm going to do is i'm going to assign some of these uh in fact what you could do as well as you could then turn off the teachers or the students in that time frame as well. I'm not gonna go through these schedules as well. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It's not overly complicated to use, So, but you could do that as well. You could you could do it, tweak it as much as you want. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to uh, these different uh, Wi-Fi networks, and I'm only gonna put them, sorry, these networks here, these karate and dance, and I'm only gonna put them on um, certain devices. So I don't want them going through every single one of these devices. I only want them working in certain ones. So let's say the karate was on the, I think the karate was on the west, wasn't it? So we're gonna give it, we're gonna turn off the east basically. So the, the karate one is only showing on that side. Press back, press done. And then the other thing we're gonna do is go to the dance one. And we're gonna go down to the bottom, more options. And we're gonna say, only show that one in the west. And that's it, okay? So all that's done is just meant that the one, the access point is closest to them, we could do in their Wi-Fi network, and the ones that are further away aren't. So the middle one's doing them both. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We've we've set up uh, we've set up four VLANs. We've associated one to a port. We've uh, associated four to um, the Wi-Fi networks uh, uh, that we've got here. We've given them a schedule and we've put a bandwidth limit on them. So you know this is the sort of exact scenario that you would have in a uh, in a small business or in this example a school. Um, and it's really handy to be able to do this so easily on the Aruba Instant On app. As you've seen, it doesn't take long at all. If I wasn't explaining it, it could be done in probably ten. Minutes minutes or so so it's very very simple to do there's a little bit of work to do on the router but does not complicated at all 
Um, I really hope this uh, video has been useful. Um, if you've got any questions, then please do put them in the comments and uh, I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Thank <music> you.